Let's take a look at the outline stroke feature in Autodesk Graphic. This is a very handy feature for creating things like this top graphic here. So I've got this simple text right here. I've chosen a font, but I want to give it this kind of decorative border like you see on this top one. So how would I do that? Well, this is one of those handy moments for the outline stroke feature. It's under the modify menu. First, we have to have a shape that has a stroke in order to convert it to outlines. The first thing I'm going to do is option drag a copy. So just by having it selected and then holding down the option key while you click and hold your mouse button down will drag out a duplicate of whatever you had selected. And I'm going to go to the modify menu and convert text to outlines. Now the characters of my text are now converted to shapes. And these shapes can be edited just like any other vector shape on your canvas. The reason I duplicated it is that I can go back now and if I needed to edit this text later on, I have an editable text box with the font I had selected. First thing I'm gonna do is create a compound path out of these new shapes that were created from my text object. So I'm going to go to my path tools and click make compound path. That's going to make it a little bit easier to deal with this as one single shape. Next, I'm going to copy this and then paste it in place. Now it's not going to look like anything different happened, but what you have now is a copy of this and I can show you just by changing its color that sits directly on top of your original. And what I want to do is give this a stroke. So you can turn on the stroke right here in the appearance panel. Click your hamburger menu to drop down that strokes properties. And I'm just going to give this a stroke of maybe like 15. And I have the position of the stroke on center, but you can play with that to whatever your tastes are, whatever you're trying to do. If you put it inside, you can see the stroke is actually going to be on the inside of the shape. And so at 15 points, it completely looks solid. If it's on the outside, that's going to go all the way around the outside. In this particular case, I'm going to use center. And then I'm going to move it to the back and change my stroke color so that I can see what I'm doing. And that's about where I want this to be. This is our goal here, so I'm kind of looking at that as reference. That looks good to me. So under the Modify menu again, we can click on Outline Strokes. And what this is going to do is create a new group in our Layers panel. And if you twirl that down, you can see here's our original shape on the bottom, and here are the outlines that have now been converted into paths. So these paths are now uh, editable paths rather than a stroke that's assigned to a path. And what I'm going to do is ungroup those so that I can merge them together. Because basically what I want for this effect here at the top is a solid shape. And if I ungroup this, you can see that this is actually made of several solid shapes that are just overlapping each other. Okay, with my new shape created, I'm going to select it and I have some gradients prepared, so I'm going to choose my yellow and orange one here. I want to choose this for my font color, and I'm going to go ahead and paste in some attributes. I have an inner shadow that I had copied to the clipboard. Now, I can do this again with the shape itself. So again, I'm going to copy, paste in place. The shortcut command for that is Command, Shift, and V and I'm gonna move that to the back as well. And now I'm gonna give that a stroke of about 15 points. And once again, from the Modify menu, I'm gonna outline the stroke, then ungroup it and merge it together with the Union command. So you can see how quickly we've achieved the look that we were going for with that outlined stroke feature in Autodesk Graphic. Thanks for watching.